Hello mates, my name is Adi. Welcome back to my video series on creating a power app to search for content in SharePoint document library. There is no built-in future within power apps as of now and hence I started this venture to accomplishing this using a Microsoft flow. In part two, we built a flow receiving a search text as input parameter and return a output JSON object as response. In this video, I am going to cover the process of calling the flow and using the return object from flow to filter the SharePoint document library by extending the power up we created in part one. Let's get started. So hope you are seeing my screen. First, let us look at run and see the flow. Then we go back to. So this is our SharePoint site. And I am in the flow tab. This is the one. Let us run this. So I am going to search for SA. Okay. It has finished. Okay. It finished just 19 seconds ago. If we look at. So if you look at the response object. Um, it has written just only one. So if we go back to our. Let me have another tab. Okay, I'm going to apps here. I just renamed the app to make it more meaningful. It is, I renamed as search SharePoint content. So let's, so if we search for the same, that is fine. We get 138. Here also 38 ID SA. There is only one. Let us search for something. Suppose prints. There is only one. Let's go to power up and see what we get. We will do the same thing here. So I'm going to run the flow and put the value of prints. Then so let's look at the last execution. We got a lot many here. One, two, at least two we got here in our flow. So there is one magic, then dictionary. No, there is a lot, it's not just two. One, Two. I was. Let's take this output into. Sorry. I'm going to copy this. Let's go to JSON formatter. This year we can sorry not this one this is the one I am interested 
so we searched for friends we didn't get copied correct I think let's go So we got here one, two, three, four, five, six. Six, six uh, libraries are having that word friends. Whereas in our power app, without uh, doing content search, we found that just only one. So let us attempt calling our uh, power up in this whether we are able to get all those six element in this <coughs> so let me close this run I'm going to edit this now loading so everything is as it is what we left was this is a block so I'm going to clean all these now we are going to call our earlier uh, So there is no call collection documents. That's why we are getting the red flag. So we are going to fix it. So what I am going to do is, so select the button. We are in the unselect event. Now, uh, the first thing is we are going to do three things. One is we are going to call the flow, passing the text from the text box from the return value we are going to create a collection from the return object then finally we are going to apply the collection IDs to our search so to call the to call the flow you I selected the button object then go and click on this action then at the end we have power automate just click on that here in my environment i have created number of other flows so it is showing all of that so i am going to call this one sp content search this is the one we built in part two of this series so just click on it and wait for while it is adding okay it is added it is how this is how we call the um, flow for this we need to pause here you can see complete flow flows parameter in formula so for this formula i'm going to txe search dot txt so this is how we call but uh, we are going to do a lot more than just calling because as I said uh, we are going to create a collection from the return of this value then uh, search uh, filter the document with the IDs so to do that what I am going to do I have prepared the code just uh, I paste that then we walk through step by step Okay, here the line 3, this is how we call a flow. So what happens, as I said, I am having a, from our power app, we are, from our flow, sorry, we are returning an array object, as you can see from here. 
so the array object is something like this this is our array object okay so this is what is being written so this is basically a collection so this is a array um, json object i can say array of uh, json objects so here what happens first i assign it so api results is my collection so if it was maybe i may be calling this second time third time so first i clear that then whatever is being returned from the flow call this is being assigned then comes our next candidate collection documents this is what we are binding to our um, uh, grid gallery this is what we are going to but we need to filter this with so here what happens we say clear collect means it will initialize the collection then we are filtering the documents with what filter the documents and then we check if text search has anything in it if so if if it is blank so the user wants everything no filter so we return true that means there is no filter if not if something is being entered that means uh, the when we click on the button our flow has been called and the result is in api results so that is the api result has got the id it has got number of other properties also like if i put dot you will see the path title and these three parameters we return if you go back to this you will see here id title path so that is what coming here but my interest is just the id so i uh, so i this api result is a collection so i am using this in class that's all to it and uh, this is our complete code let us try run and see now what happens so i'm going to run this so search so 39 objects we didn't put anything let us go to sharepoint so we got 39 documents that's fine so now let's go back and let us put for put prints you remember we had earlier just it's not cases that you i believe cool see we got six documents now so to prove that you see one two three four five six so we are getting exactly what we are after see let us look at prints it says in index let's go and examine the index in sharepoint where is that index do we have that how to find that sorry friends yep there is a prince so it has written cool let us look for another item magic let's go back to magic it's a pdf here is a prince cool so then let's go for sample sample.pdf see there are it says there is one it 
is somewhere in the style sheet. Let us look for another one. So dry lab. Let us see examine the dry lab. PDF. Here you go, prints. It found two instances. Yes, prints. So cool. So that means it is searching. Uh, let us look for. We found it is searching PDF. It's searching example 39. Let's see what is this example 39. Example. I think this is the one. Sorry. Example. Okay. That is definitely this is the one. Let us search whether it's again PDF. Cool. Here you go. It says there are five. Yes. So that is wonderful. We managed to get all that. Then look at the power. So there is, as of recording of this video, there is no easy way of searching SharePoint content. Whereas we we made a flow, we achieved we achieved our goal finally. So. What else? Uh, let us try something else. Anyway, that is working. So the tools we use primarily is the JSON formatter that helps to. Then we use the SharePoint Search API, the REST API and we use the ms flow microsoft flow to search use the sharepoint uh, search api and return what we want so by doing this we achieved our goal so i am including the full source code as well in this video hope you enjoyed my video and if you enjoyed please do subscribe to my channel so that whenever i release a new document you will get instant notification thanks for your time take care bye